When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Helena. Oh, Helena. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. This is so relatable. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she was even here. We're having a clear out, or at least I am. Carmen's not helping, as usual. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. Oh, she's gonna sell her things, oh man. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can you take a look? Go here. <gasps> that light bulb is completely smashed. New light bulb for you. Oh, that's not a light bulb. Okay. It, that is a light bulb. Okay, I'll need to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. Doesn't look like this. Carmen's even managed to get a slide stuck in here. Hmm. What should I do? I'm so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. Click, click, click.
Uno. Looks like something is still missing. When we were younger, Carmen was always following me around. Looks like something is still missing. Hmm. I suppose she looked up to me. A cool older sister. She used to ask me when I was coming home. But I was always too busy. Screws still need to be put back. Helena was transfixed, staring at the two young sisters the projector had brought glaringly into focus. I... I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. <sighs> That's the problem. There is no money. I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I have nothing. Damn. Come and thinks I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't. Not this time. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Helena fell silent, shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. That's really sad to you. I know I have to tell her the truth. It isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. <sighs> what if I lose her too? Alright, we'll continue our journey next time. And if you like my videos, give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.